six types of white blood cells in the blood circulation. These cells are classified into two major types, which are granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, which include the neutrophils, uh, xenophils, and basophils, and the agranulocytes, which, uh, which include the lymphocytes and monocytes. In order to count the white blood cells in the blood circulation, we use two types of count. One of them is used to count all the cells, so it is the total white blood cells count or total leukocyte count. Total leukocyte count is done by using the hemocytometer or the hematology analyzer or the blood cell counter. The total leukocytic count is a number of all types of white blood cells in the blood circulation. This means that we need uh, another type of count, which is the differential leukocyte count. Differential leukocyte count. We need the differential leukocyte count and uh, use it to differentiate the percentage and the number of each type of white blood cells in the blood circulation. The differential leukocyte count is done by using the blood film or the, the count that obtained from the uh, blood film is called the relative count. Relative count. So the different type of cells including the bacterium neutrophil, uh, gland cell, xenophil, basophil, monocyte, lymphocyte. So the relative count obtained from the blood film is the percentage of each type of cells the percentage from the total. Relative count is not used for interpretation of complete blood count report because it is uh, only give percentage of each type of cells. However, in order to interpret the results of uh, complete blood count, we use the absolute count. We use another type of count which is called the absolute count. Absolute count. The absolute count is obtained by multiplying the total leukocyte count in the percentage of each type of uh, individual white blood cells. For example, if the total leukocyte count in a sample is 10,000 per cubic millimeter, and the relative count here shows that it will feel a percent, 50%. This means that the absolute count will be 5,000, will be 5,000 per cubic millimeter, per cubic millimeters. In interpretation of the uh, complete blood count report, we depend on the uh, absolute count and not the relative count. So why we depend on the absolute count and do not use the relative count in interpretation? Global range of neutrophils, for example, neutrophils, for example, in the blood report from 50 to 60 percent. Normal, normal uh, percentage for neutrophils. And the result of uh, total deposited count show that the total count is still 1,000. And the differential deposited count, differential deposited count, give the neutrophil percent 50 percent. This means that when we compare the 50% with the reference range, the result will be normal because it is 50%, the result is 50% and the normal range from 50 to 60%. However, if the total count is not, well, not 10,000, it's 2,000, or 30,000, 2,000, and here the 50% normal. However, when we calculate the absolute count of neutrophils, the absolute count will be 10,000. 10,000 per cubic millimeter. If we compare the 10,000 with, with the normal range of the neutrophils in the blood circulation, the 10,000 will be higher than the normal range. It means neutrophilia. Means neutrophilia. So the absolute count shows the number of individual white blood cells in the blood circulation. And it is very important to depend on uh, absolute count in interpretation 
of white blood cell count and the relative count is only used to calculate the absolute count. The relative count is not used for interpretation. However, it is, it is a step to calculate the absolute count, is a step to calculate the absolute count.